On an uncharted island sits a lighthouse. It's a very special lighthouse that projects a message of love and hope throughout the world. The Protectors are a special team chosen to protect our world from the Syndicate, an evil group determined to spread darkness. These Protectors, chosen to fight the Syndicate, are known as the Light Force. If anything happens in the Nexus, let me know immediately. I have the power to do something now. Vanguard isn't the only one with superpowers. It just made everything worse until I had to destroy it. I have to try. Trust me, Prism. It will all be okay. Disobeying orders creates unnecessary emergencies. And one of these days, we're gonna run out of chances. Sage, I wish I could tell you this was working, but nothing's changing. This darkness wall is impossible. Don't lose hope. We're still working on it. Can Axiom make a vacuum or something and we can just clean it out? Axiom's inventions are why we're in this mess in the first place. Can't Prism make something? I'm trying, but nothing seems to be working. Well, we're the light force. We have to be able to do something. Are Sage and Prism still trying to fix the Nexus? Yep. Nothing's working. We're just biding time until Vanguard recharges his powers. Where's Axiom? In his room. He blames himself for all of this. Vanguard was pretty hard on him. Oh, poor Axiom. I'm gonna go see if he needs some cheering up. I don't think that'll work. How can it not? Cheering people up should be my number one superpower. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, he did not want to see anyone. Told you. I feel like the whole team is just sitting in sadness. Can the Syndicate really have won? Not at all. <laughs> Once Vanguard gets his powers back, he'll blast that darkness right out of the Nexus. I hope so. I need something to believe in again. Vanguard, you're better? Yes. Have Sage and Prism made any progress? Not a bit. Nothing they came up with can make a dent. Tell them I'm on my way. I'll see what I can do. Finally! Go show the Syndicate who's boss. Sir, I have some bad news. Vanguard just entered the Nexus. Let him try to destroy the Darkness Wave. But he's, he's done it before, sir. I'm not worried if he does. You're not worried? Let me teach you something, Harbinger. Even if Vanguard does succeed, it doesn't matter. We'll just try again. But if he can't, the whole team will lose confidence, and more importantly, lose hope. Huh. Very tricky, sir. Yes. <laughs> Loss of hope can do more damage than any darkness wave will ever do. I will keep you posted, sir. Did it work yet? I'm still running the data. Okay. How about now? Seriously, we just need to give Vanguard some time. Vanguard, are you okay? Yeah, just a little worn out. We still have a wall of darkness. It didn't work. That's not possible. I gave it everything I had. Take a look for yourself. It's still there. I must have been more tired than I thought. Give me some time. I'll try again later. If Vanguard can't eliminate the darkness, then what chance do we have? That's a good question. I don't know. Vanguard Journal 2. 
After the Syndicate's latest strike, the team is losing hope. We have valiantly tried to stop the darkness from spreading, but the more we try to stop it, the stronger it gets. I wish there was a way to keep the team positive. I just don't know what to do. officially out of ideas. Not you too. What do you mean? Everyone is so sad and miserable. Sage and Prism just gave up. I thought you, of all people, would keep believing. I'm only human, Network. And that darkness wall is not going away. Wow. You know, if I'm the one who has to give the team a pep talk, we're in real big trouble. Vanguard, are your powers recharged? No. I can't even light up a hallway right now. That's great. Just great. You know, I said Axiom would ruin us one day, and look what happened. He ruined us. I don't understand. Why can't you beat the darkness? Guys, I am not what you should be putting your hope in. Well, if we can't put our hope in you, then what's the point of it at all? Listen to this. The Lord is good to those who put their hope in Him. He is good to those who look to Him. Lamentations 3.25 We have to put our hope in God. But we can't see God. How will we know He'll help us? God gave us everything. He gave us our home, our powers, our mission. God is going to be the one who gets us through this. God's not helping us now. We're still standing, aren't we? This is where faith comes in. I forgot what faith looks like. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. I'm not losing faith, Vanguard. I can't be the only doubter. We might not figure out what to do now, but if we put our faith in God, he's gonna show us the answer. All right. I'm gonna go rally the troops. Harbinger, this worked out better than I thought. Vanguard couldn't beat the darkness, and now the light force is in absolute chaos. We may finally beat them, sir. May? Harbinger. <laughs> Our victory is inevitable. We've split them up, we've broken them down, and we've wiped that arrogant smile off Vanguard's face. What's our next step? Patience, Harbinger, patience. With the Light Force toppling, we'll be able to walk straight into the Lighthouse. It feels good to win, sir. <laughs> yes, it does, Harbinger. Yes, it does. What's wrong? It's Axiom. He's gone. What? I found these things in his room. Dear Light Force, I didn't mean to ruin everything. I know I messed up really bad. I don't think I'm worthy to be one of you anymore. I'm tired of always being the one to screw up. Thank you, Vanguard, for choosing me, but I just can't do it anymore. Love, Axiom. The listening device. He must have heard me say he ruined everything. This is all my fault. I have to fix things. Guys, this is exactly what we talked about. We have to put our hope in God. If we're gonna find Axiom, we can't do it without God. But how do we do that? We pray. God, I thank you that you are always the one we can go to when we need help. We lost our friend, and we don't know what to do. Please help us find him. Amen. 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 Spectrum, come with me. We're gonna search the Nexus. Network, check with Prism and Sage, see if he's still on the island or if he went home. Will do. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find Axiom. What's up, Flight Squad? It's Spectrum coming at you to break down what we learned. Today's big idea was that in every part of life, 
God is our hope. We really needed some hope in the lighthouse today. Things were really bad. We couldn't get rid of the darkness wave in the Nexus. And worst of all, we couldn't find Axiom. No matter what we did, nothing seemed to go as we expected. We usually think of hope as something fun, like, I hope I hit a home run in the game, or I hope I get to go to Disney World. It's fun to hope for good things, but we can also have hope when things are going wrong. When that happens, it's super important to put our hope in God. I'll show you what that looks like. Back in the Bible days, when God wanted to tell his people something, he gave the message to someone called a prophet. Prophets had a super important job. They talked to kings and queens, taught people about God, and helped them make the right choices. But not everyone liked what the prophets said. Some kings got angry at the prophets and tried to hurt or even kill them. And when the prophets gave a message that no one liked, it seemed like nobody wanted to listen to God. As you can see, being a prophet was tough. It was kind of like that substitute teacher who comes into your class. They want to teach everyone, but sometimes the kids just goof off and they don't listen to what they have to say. It definitely isn't easy. Now there was a prophet in the Bible named Isaiah who knew how hard it was to be a prophet, but that wasn't gonna stop him. Isaiah told the people everything God told him, even if it wasn't an easy message to hear. One time, God told Isaiah to tell the people that even though things were okay, they wouldn't be good for long. God said the people would stop trusting him and another country would come along and defeat them. Um, that message is not hopeful at all. Hashtag, thanks Isaiah. But that wasn't the end of his message for Isaiah. God told Isaiah that something incredible was going to happen. Something that would change everything. I'm gonna show you something cool. Here's the exact message God gave to Isaiah. The people who are now living in darkness will see a great light. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. The son God was talking about was Jesus. God told Isaiah Jesus was coming 500 years before Jesus was born. Whoa, that just made my head explode. The thing to remember is that no matter how bad things are, God has a plan. He is with us and loves us. And we can always have hope when we trust in him. Sometimes we can feel hopeless. Maybe you failed a test, lost a friend, or maybe feel like everything is going wrong and you can't do anything right. What I want you to know is that no matter what has happened, and no matter what happens to you in the future, God cares about you. You can have hope because nothing can change how much he loves you. So just like Isaiah did when things were going really bad, you can always put your hope in God. If things are tough, take some time to talk to God. Tell him what you're going through. He is the source of all hope. Things might not get better right away. For the people of Israel, it took a long time for Jesus to be born, but that didn't mean God wasn't there. And just like God was there for them, he's there for you. When God is our hope, it shines a bright light, even in the darkest situations. Until next time, Light Squad.